Hello and welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I hope that you all are radiating positive energy at this time. Let's hop right into it, you guys. Let's get a universal message. See how you guys are doing on your soul's journey. If you're new to the channel and you watch every day, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I'm going to be opening up my membership. That That's where you guys will get to know me a little better, know personal things about me. We'll be able to go live and y'all can ask questions. I'm going to be um, doing personal readings for those who want personal readings live um, in, in, in the uh, membership or other ways, okay? So yeah, Pisces, I'm going to try to grow this channel, liven it up a little bit, stop being such a preacher, stop being so boring to some of you, but y'all cannot deny that some of the messages that come through here at the World of Pisces are exactly what you need, may not be what you want to hear, but sometimes it's exactly what you need to hear to move on, to move forward. You know, I'm all about healing. I'm all about awakening. I'm all about collective souls like mine. So you could be the best version of you. That's the whole point. So I hope that you all subscribe to the channel, like the videos, comment down below, and go ahead and join the membership so you guys can get to know me for those who want to. All right, so let's hop into it, Pisces. Let's see how you guys are doing on your soul's journey here. Pisces. Okay, Pisces, and we have Angel. Your angels are guiding and protecting you on your spiritual journey. So no worries, you are not alone. Okay, there is guidance. That voice in your head, that gut feeling in your stomach, you know, just the feelings, period. That's your angels. You were born with three of them. You have a moral angel, a physical angel, and a spiritual angel. And they're all with you every single day of your life since you've been born. Okay? So never feel like you alone. Never feel like you can't make it. Right? It's a lot of things you've already overcome that you thought you would never make it through. And now it's done. Right? So know that you are never alone and that your, your angels are here protecting you and guiding you every single day, Pisces. All right, let's set that right there because I didn't turn it on. All right, Pisces, let's uh, check on the energies that's coming towards you today. In you or around you. Okay, and we have Venom. Venom. Ooh, we let me in, said the spider to the fly. So this is some deceptive energy. Someone who wants to poison a situation. Let me in, said the spider to the fly. What does a spider do? They eat flies, right? So there's a negative toxic energy trying to get into your atmosphere, right? There's something negative trying to get into your atmosphere. Let's see what other energies are coming towards or around Pisces. Lockjaw. A good guard dog is hard to find. Pisces, this is your angel here there to protect you. Look, he come right out next to Venom. What is back turned to Venom? Okay. You could never enter this atmosphere over here. Right, Pisces? That's why you need to be strong. You need to be observative. You need to be discerning and, and use your wisdom because everybody that enter your life is not here for the right reasons. It's not going to be your friend. It's not going to be a lover or a companion. Some people are here just to seek and destroy, but know that you are protected. A good guard dog is hard to find. So you got somebody in your life that's down for you that tell you, Hey, that motherfucker ain't no good. Hey, you can't trust this person. Hey, they said this, 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 and that. Right, a lot of stuff you could blow off the shoulder, but there's somebody in your life that try to keep you uh on a straight and narrow or keep you making good decisions right they they trying to protect you, and sometimes I feel like you don't always listen to that person, right you don't always listen to that person, but they truly have your best interests at heart because there's some toxic energy energy trying to get into your atmosphere after you've come so far, right. So you got protection around you, Pisces, and the energies. There are people who hate you and there are people who love you. And then we have Dr. Octopus. 
being right never feels wrong. So like I was saying on the soul's journey, listen to that intuition, listen to those gut instincts, listen to what you feel, right? Being wrong, I mean, being right never feels wrong. So you already have the answers to your questions, right? Dr. Octopus can do many things at once, right? Go off what you feel. Go off what your gut is telling you, Pisces. Do all that your mind tells you to do sometimes, right? Okay, so Pisces, let's get the last energy that's coming towards you in or around you here. Okay, and we have Hella. Seize the day. Seize the day. Take every opportunity that comes to you that feels good to you. Don't let your days go by without accomplishing anything. Make sure you do something positive every day. Make sure you take an opportunity every day. If it's a goal that you have, Put one foot in the front in front of the other each and every day. If you only take one step a day by the end of the year, you'd have been took 365 steps towards that thing that you want so much. So seize each and every day. Never let a day go by without doing something that pleases you, that make you feel good. All right, Pisces. So these are the energies that's in or around you or that's coming towards you. Okay, Pisces, let's hop into it. Let's collect the energy of your connections. Let's see. First card we have going on is the temperance. Okay. Someone wants to balance things out after waiting so long. Right? Look, someone's pouring something out, but we'll, we'll get into it. But somebody wants to bring balance to a situation here. And then uh, we have the four of swords. Someone needs to heal. Wait, that's the five of swords here. We have a uh, conflict here. Defeat. We need conversation. There needs to be communication about a situation, right? Temperance. Uh, somebody's been waiting to balance things out with you for so long here. They're getting bored. They're pouring out their wine. They're pouring out their liquor, right? Because that's influencing their thoughts. That's why this person feels so defeated because they've been impaired. They've been under substance abuse. And I never think that in the temperance card. Okay. But with the five of swords, somebody's feeling defeated. There needs to be some communication. Everything is breaking up around you. Right. It looks like an ice wall. Right. Somebody want to see what's on the other side of Antarctica. I just heard it. Okay. And then we have the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups. This must be the most popular person. You know, everybody comes to see them. Everybody loves them. They make great music. You know, they can sing. Very talented, artistic person, right? That that That's very, very busy, but they love you here. That could be you or your person. Let's get one more. And then we have the Nine of Cups. Victory, look at, at the back of that. It looks like a victory. No, this is the Ten of Cups. I'm sorry, it's the Ten. But it looks like somebody has some form of emotional fulfillment, some form, some form of victory around their emotions. Either your emotions is getting stronger, e either this person is loving you more, showing you more love. However, somebody feels like they're on top of the world and that they're succeeding inside of this connection at this time, even though there are things that are crumbling or breaking up. Let's see what's crossing this energy. And it's the two of wands. A decision needs to be made whether you're going to move forward with this person or not. Are you going to plan a life with me? Can we recreate our future? Can you walk through the gates with me? Right? So somebody's planning on moving forward here. Strengthening this relationship after some time. So let's check on temperance. Let's see what's all the patience. What's all this waiting about? Right? And it's the page of Pentacles. Somebody been handling a lot of responsibility lately, right? Maybe take a control over their drinking problem or their substance abuse, right? Really trying to mix that good energy and take responsibility over a situation to come out the clouds to clear up a situation here. Right? Page of Pentacles wants to take responsibility and balance this connection out. 
So yeah, Pisces, you got somebody that's just ready here. We have the Knight of Wands, right? Somebody who's willing to put in that work. Somebody's willing to give it all they got to bring this relationship into balance, to take responsibility forward and to, to be passionate about it, right? I feel this relationship. I feel the passion. I feel the love. I feel like I've been out of your energy or things haven't been right with us for a while. So I want to put all my efforts into showing you that this can work. We need to communicate. We need to communicate and stop being defensive with each other. Stop trying to defeat each other. Stop trying to get the last words. Stop trying to treat me how I treated you or vice versa. We really need to sit down and really communicate about our feelings, thoughts, and actions. Okay? So this is somebody who wants to bring balance to the connection. Somebody who wants to talk about the things that's happened to see if we can fix it moving forward. Somebody who's ready to take responsibility and give it all they got. Right. So let's see what is this conversation that needs to be had. And it's the two of swords. It's all about making a decision to come out of the dark and step into the light. Or come out of the light and step into the dark. However, there's a decision that needs to be made. There's a vision that needs to be clear. That's why there needs to be communication so somebody can see the whole big picture of what they're actually dealing with, right? All those swords. Somebody may be in their head a lot here. We have the fool. So this is that new beginning. Someone wants you to make the decision to go ahead and 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 go on this journey with them this relationship journey someone wants to see where this could go if we really put in the effort if we really communicate if we really you know bond with each other and understand each other we can move forward so somebody's coming in to see if you want to decide to be with them can you be with me somebody wants you to be with them somebody wants a relationship right? This could be someone who's very artistic that's in the music, someone who's ghosted you before, someone who gets a lot of attention over here with the Knight of Cups, right? They look like they can sing, dance, perform. They do something. They put on shows, right? Maybe even run after hour, maybe do karaoke or something, you know, but this person loves being on the spotlight. They love being seen. They love being heard. And that could be part of what the crumble is, okay? But at the end of the day, this is still somebody who wants you to hear them loud and clear here. They may even take you out on a date because, you know, the Knight of Cups speaks of dates. And, and they may let everybody know how they feel about you, right? At the bar, at a concert, right? They're going to have the opportunity to get up on some stage and be on a microphone and let the world know how they feel about you, whether that's you or your person, Pisces. Okay. Then we, with this Knight of Cups comes the Two of Pentacles, right? Somebody has a very uh, heavy responsibility, but they also want to be happy in their personal life, right? So this is a decision that's been made to be more solid, to take more responsibility, to bring it or making my person more happier instead of worrying about myself. I want to be in a connection. So I know I have to put energy into this. I know I have to take responsibility for this. I have to make a decision to fix this and make it right. See if I could bring it into balance so that we can move forward and have something strong, solid and committed. So somebody wants to scream from the rooftops and let everybody know that I want Pisces or vice versa. Pisces make me happy. Pisces keep me balanced. This is what I want in my life, right? So I'm deciding to bring balance to the situation. I'm deciding to confront the situation and have a conversation here. What else comes with the Knight of Pentacles? And it's the Ace of Swords. It's time for the mask to come off. It's time to be real and hit my target. It's time to be honest and speak my truth. Pisces, so somebody wants to speak their truth. 
after not committing, after fumbling the ball, after ruining a relationship. Maybe their popularity drove y'all apart. Maybe it's the music. It's something that disrupted this connection. And your person or you want to fix it, want to take responsibility for it, want to put your energy into it. You want to show this person that, hey, listen, I could talk to you and be civil. We don't have to fight and argue, right? We can make decisions to move forward. Right. I will tell the world I will show you better than I could tell you that I am down for you and that I'm happy with you. And I feel this sense of balance. I could be real. I could be truthful. I'm at my ten of cups. Right. So with this ten of cups, somebody feels like they have the victory. Right. So you may have said yes. Your person may have said yes. Y'all may be in agreement. Y'all may have been able to bring this into balance. Right? Because the Ten of Cups is like the ultimate fulfillment. I'm so happy. I have the perfect partner. I have the perfect family. Life is going great now here. But it comes with the Nine of Swords. So this may have been a little stressful for one of you to even experience this, to even go through this, right? Sleepless nights, anxiety, worry, stress, right? This person that puts you under a lot of stress. That's all it is. Put you under a lot of stress and, and had you going through many different changes. Whether that be you or your person. But all in all, it seems like somebody said yes. Somebody wants that emotional fulfillment too. So what else comes with this Ten of Cups is the Hierophant. Now this speaks of marriages, commitments, tradition, learning lessons, smarts, you know, intelligence. Okay, so the Hierophant... Look, it's like he he's armed with power. He took that glove off and look at his hand lighting up. He's armed with power here. Okay? This person has power, the power of knowledge. That's all it is. Very smart. You or your person, very intelligent. Right. Somebody won't settle for nothing less than commitment. That's what's going on. Somebody won't settle for nothing less than what makes them happy. Nothing less for them feeling like they have some form of victory. Somebody is not willing to settle for a relationship that's going to stress them out, cause anxiety and, and ruin them. Right. So it's like somebody trying to come with their A game. Somebody feel like, yeah, dealing with this person, I have to be honest. I have to be real. It has to be real. I cannot fake it with this person. So lessons have been learned. They learn not to play with you, right? They learn not to play with you like that because you were in some shit. And then what do we have here? The four of cups, right? That's just what was sticking out, something extra. It's the four cups, but it's on fire, right? Somebody has a lot of passionate love for you, and they feel like they're missing that opportunity. They feel like they were missing the opportunity, and maybe that's why they want to bring things into balance. Maybe that's why they want to take responsibility or put all their energy and effort into it. Don't want the crumble to happen. Got to make a decision real quick to see if we can have some form of future together, right? So what's crossing all the energy is the Ace of Wands, Pisces. So somebody wants the new beginning. Somebody wants to start over fresh. Let's leave the past behind. Let's just work on moving forward, right? So this is the energy of the connection. Let's get a, a um, let's get a positive of affirmation, Pisces, for you before we close out this reading. Okay, and we got two. I'm capable with effort. Well, I am capable with effort and practice and I can achieve anything. Right. So if you put in the effort and you practice, you can conquer anything that you set your mind to. Amazing opportunities are always open with, for me, right? Hella seize the day. Don't let the opportunities pass you by. No matter what you're going through um, and on a relationship level, remember you still are an individual and you have your own life to live, right? So take the opportunities that open up to you because they're for you here, Pisces. They are for you. So let's get a message of guidance here for you, Pisces. Let's see what the universe may be wanting you to know at this time. 
whether it's around your connection or not. We had a queen of wands. So the universe is here complimenting you. Pisces, you're beautiful, you're smart, you're confident, and you're not afraid of hard work. You may have more pride than a little bit, but it's all working out, right? So don't don't lose confidence. No matter what happens, stay confident and know that you're beautiful inside and out, right? Know that you're capable of achieving anything you set your mind to because you're not afraid to get dirty. You're not afraid to do the hard work here. And we have the Ace of Cups, right? So love is in and all around you and it's an abundance of it. So at this time, Pisces, the universe is saying you may get many love offers that rush in on you, right? And now remember on this up here of the energies, we got venom. Everybody ain't for the right thing, right? Everybody don't have good intentions. But the universe is letting you know here, Price Pisces, that you are beautiful, handsome, whatever, inside and out. You're very proud. You're not afraid to take care of business, put in the work, put your energy towards things that you need to do, right? Love is in and all around you. You may have several love offers rushing in on you here. Some people may be persistent, impulsive, and don't know what they're doing, ain't thinking about what they're doing, just rushing in to see what they could get. And some of these offers are going to be for real, okay? And there's that nine of swords again at the bottom of the deck, okay? Pisces, this one's for you. Right. So you kind of worried and stressed about the situation, too, whether it be this relationship or whether it just be an overall general stress from your whole life. Right. So the universe is saying, man, you got to heal. You got to heal. You got to heal. Right. You got to align with yourself. You got to put yourself first. You got to make sure you're healthy. You got to make sure you're happy. Nobody could do these things for you. Some things you have to do on your own. You can't expect anybody to get you healthy. You can't expect anybody to make you happy. All you could do is expect from other people is to add to what you already have. So if anybody in your life subtracting from what you have, stressing you out and worrying you then you need to reevaluate that situation pisces i hope this resonated let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity to see what chakra needs to be worked on or to simply get an inspirational quote that we could say to ourselves each and every day Pisces, we have the sixth chakra, and this is the third eye chakra, and this one is relevant to intuitive perception. Okay, so I know that what my in intuitive senses tell me are true, right? You got to listen to your gut instincts, listen to those feelings, right? I know what my instincts tell me are true. I open myself to the truth that is within and all around me, and I know that it is there for me to receive. I practice developing my intuition and I know that it is a major aspect of who I am. In the stillness and silence of meditation and contemplation, I will experience and know the truth. So this is the universe just reassuring you that what you feel, what you think, what your intuition is telling you will never lead you astray. It is always the truth of you right? Anything outside of that is a recipe for disaster, right? Never go against what you truly feel. Never second guess yourself. Know that these feelings and instincts are here to guide you and help you along your path, right? Because they're your archangels. Okay, so Pisces, if you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.